So we're going to go right down a close-up detail of this uh, shoulder and arm from this kind of um, techno pseudo robotic humanoid hybrid character. Remember in concept design that the visual ideas or matter. It's not the conceptual ideas or the ideas in your head. It's the ideas that you can get down on the page. And we always start with just the basic forms. So we're going to do a couple of basic cylinders that are evolved. Um, and then when we go into the details of kind of creating this techno monster with all these wires that kind of make up the, the um, arm structure, we're going to use a, a series of cylinder forms that kind of organically flow in and out of each other. So if you've done some landscape drawings and done branches and trees um, and root structures, that's going to help you um, to create these kinds of structures. Because we wanted like a the students that came up with this idea and, and um, I helped them develop, uh, they had this idea that it was this organic mechanical hybrid. So we want a little bit of both uh, to come across. And as you wrap lines around the cylinders, you want to make sure that you uh, decide whether the cylinders are coming towards you or going away from you. Um, and you can use a little bit of anatomical knowledge because you don't want to lose track of, of the humanoid figure completely. Um, and that anatomical knowledge is, of course, primarily based on what you see, what's in front of you, and the pose as it exists. Um, the outer edge of the form doesn't matter as much as the internal structure. So you're going to get to the outer edge of the form no matter what. So don't focus on it too early. Otherwise, you kind of lose the opportunity to convey what's inside the forms and how these forms overlap. To get a sense of light, the first thing you do is poster um, and decide which side gets the light and which side gets the shadow. And don't be afraid to add details into the fingers. They had this idea that these fingers would kind of be these wiry cylinders that split off. Um, and then once you go into the specific forms after the poster, you're going to have to use your imagination and and uh, pay real close attention to the light uh, in the situation that's around you. Because you're going to have to use your knowledge and use your uh, what's in your head and synthesize between that and what you actually see. So all of these little ropey structures don't actually exist in front of me, but I kind of have this idea in my head and I see the light in front of me and I know kind of how they should go. You, know, you use your shadow core and your cast shadow. You try to differentiate the forms with value rather than with line, even though you've used line up to this point. So that's your basic procedure from here on out is to uh, increase the clarity and specificity of the drawing as you go along by using your uh, same concepts that you use in structured drawing, objects, still life, and landscape. You're just applying those concepts to the figure. And when you might think that when you draw, you know, a water glass or a coffee mug, that you're not working on the figure, but you but you really are. You're working on basically one little component. So if you take a cross section of this arm, you're essentially drawing a coffee cup or any other kind of cylinder. So if you need more practice on structure, I recommend going back and doing that now before you go any further, because it's only going to get more complicated with the figure. Um, but as always, continue to have fun with this, because concept design and figure drawing is usually why people get into it, and it's super enjoyable.